This is part two and attempt number three at beating Minecraft Hardcore exactly how ChatGTP would. I already did three out of the 12 steps that ChatGPT gives me. I already gathered the resources like punching trees, collecting wood, making basic tools like a wooden pickaxe. Mine started to upgrade my tools to update cobblestone for crafting. I already built a shelter. I actually found a massive village that I reside in and is now my permanent home. I explored and mined because that is extremely boring for a YouTube video, even though I'm gonna show you a cool montage of that very soon. I mined for probably two, three hours. We have cows, so I've been breeding the cows, make sugar cane, and we're gonna suit have a enchanting table. But to have an enchanting table, we need to do the step that we haven't done yet in this series is obtain obsidian. So we're gonna do that very soon. I found a lot of diamonds and coal and iron and in the two hours, this is like this, attempt no, number three is the best world, ever, world I've ever had. In two hours of mining, I think I found like 40 diamonds. Oh, diamonds. Diamonds. But now I'm just sitting in my little house that I have in the village and AFK farming sugarcane because with 40 diamonds, you know, in two hours, I don't think I need them go mine for a while. So all I'm doing is AFKing for a long time, growing a whole bunch of sugarcane. And once it finally grows, I just harvest that. Breed all the cows I can. Once I breed all the cows, harvest all the sugarcane, I could eventually just make a full enchanting table, level 30, right off the bat. But first, I think I'm only level 27 or 28, and I need to go build, I get. I need to get more XP basically, so I need to smelt, get mine a little bit more, for the level 30, and first enchant, maybe my diamond chest plates, and go into the nether. Remember in part one, that zombie baby killing me? Yeah, I got revenge on them. And now this is where I am now. Probably like five hours into the world. I don't even, it didn't see much of it, but this is all I got. There's 19 diamonds, full set of diamond arbor, tools, and this is all I have to my name and a whole bunch of villagers that I trapped up and sl I sh not, I'm not gonna use that word, nope, but I almost did it. So with one stack of books, you can make a 19 bookshelves. So. I already have a full enchanting table. I didn't know I didn't have to farm up all these cows. So part four of the chat GTP challenge states I have to go get obsidian. So I'm gonna go do, do that right now because I got some more wood. I think we can go make an enchantment table. My mine shaft leads directly to lava and I don't have a water bucket, but I can probably use this as water. First piece of obsidian. I definitely do want to make a craft <laughs> enchantment table first. That is not how you build an enchantment table. There we go. And then I'm going to have a perfect amount of bookshelves. Hopefully for a level 30 at least. Please be level 30. Yes! What? It's only efficiency 3. Are you kidding me? of art the parts please give me something good my chest plate i'm breaking three i'll take that actually where's my lapis chest plate is the most important thing on your fire protection are you kidding me you know in lava fire protection does not help you i think the furthest i've ever gone in hardcore minecraft was into the nether and i died immediately well it's uh, it's not a the worst spot you could ever get at the game it's, it's definitely not the worst. Now we're in part five. Into the nether. Another portal using obsidian blocks and activate it with flint and steel. Into the nether dimension and navigate its hostile environment to find another fortress. We need to find another fortress. And then gather blaze rods and feed blaze mobs in nether fortresses to obtain, obtain blaze rods. Blaze rods are essential for crafting eyes of ender which are needed to locate the eye stronghold 
where the ender dragon resides. Oh, holy mother of Jesus. I think this axe might be the perfect run. Oh, the reporter's right there. There's another fortress right there. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, it's so epic. Ooh, they're gonna blow. They're gonna blow. What did I just say? I said they were gonna blow. And they blew. And they blew. And they blew. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh my god. I got 30 blaze powder. I hope it's blaze powder and not blaze rods. I could hardly remember. I sure hope so. Cause that would be bad. Dude, the worst enchant for a level 30. Are you kidding me? Now we're on part seven, locate the stronghold. I have to use eyes of ender to locate the stronghold by throwing up in the air and following the dare trek jerk tree. Once the eyes of ender floats downward, dig down to uncover the stronghold. The hardest part is you gotta get the ender pearls. I need like 20 of them, maybe 25. So the fastest way to do that is to find piglins, I, I suppose. Found an ender man. I, two, there's two of them. You come down to me. You come to me. Yes, thank you. Stop running around. I can't, I can't hit you. I can't hit you. Please give me one. The, the other guy. Zero, zero off two. Are, are you kidding me? Come on, man. Come on, this is all you got. This is all you got. Boom. Boom. I got to find the brutes to trade gold with. So they have a chance to give me ender pearls, but I can't find any for the life of me. Oh my gosh, take my gold and give me ender pearls, please. Can I build a box around him? Cause I'm kind of scared. Have some, have some more gold. No, please, please. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my goodness, gold. No, no, please don't do it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Please just, just take the gold, take the gold, take the gold, take the gold. We're good. Oh, we're good. Oh my goodness. How do I pick them up? Two? Oh, goodness. So far as two is better than none. I, I'm, I'm going to be completely honest. This, this is actually looking very bad. It's so strong. And they're pearls. I'm almost out of gold. Gold. Fortune. A long time later, a whole lot of digging. I finally found a whole bunch of gold. Dude, there's gold everywhere in the nether. He's buying it up, and that's what I did it now. I have 64 ingots to give this guy. I'm just gonna drop it and see if he just gives me ender pearls because I, even though. You know, gold is everywhere in the nether. It sure as hell was tedious and annoyed to get. Really gaining a oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Please pack it up. Oh my gosh. I almost just died again. <laughs> hell yeah. Oh man. Did it take a long time, but we are finally here at the end of our road. The road to salvation we need to activate the end ender portal so we have to go find the stronghold with the ender eyes and then we need to enter the end and then we need to defeat the ender dragon which way do i gotta go yes sir a couple eyes vendor missing and a couple thousand blocks away from home we have finally found the struggle that's down this way i don't want to die to my go down to my death but it should be right down here. And then we're gonna go kill the Ender Dragon. Oh, I found the library. Oh my gosh, I thought I just died to my death. But still, I don't, I can't find the portal for the life of me. We finally found, I finally found. Dude, dude, you wrecked silver fish. Yeah. I'm gonna get the crying obsidian that I got for the brute. 
and just hope to Jesus himself that this works. I actually never touched this. On, it was all on paper. I never actually tested this before. So all I gotta do is hope that he goes to my spot and I can kill him with fat. Little. Oh my gosh. Yes, this is this is it. This is this is the part. Uh oh. Oh, I'm doing this wrong. Oh no, I, I'm doing it totally wrong. I'm gonna die. 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 Oh. Say, but please don't kill me. Uh, thank you for not killing me. <sighs> oh my gosh, that would have been quite unfortunate. Now, just in case, he's. I just died. He's. Oh my. Oh. oh, I was trying to speed run it like the speed runners. Dude, no. Let's end this video. If you want a part three, let me know in the comments. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Helps a lot.